times a charm. All right, so hopefully third time's a charm. This is Dr. G and happy Sunday evening. I am hoping that I can get my friend Sonnet on so she can share awesome gems that she has to share with you all. Um, you, let's see. Um, all right, in the meantime, uh, how are you all doing? Hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, this is, this has been quite a week. Uh, lots of moments of gratitude for sure. Just every day kind of waking up and being grateful for, you know, health, safety, uh, family, um, having the ability to, you know, do things that we may have neglected for quite a while and decided we we're going to get back to. Um, I know there's a couple of friends who are the game of for crafts and crafting. Um, so them have actually gone ahead and um, basically, you know, started their gardens indoors in the hopes that the weather is going to kind of clear up so that we can actually like take it outside. So that's been fun. And then some other friends of mine have learned how to sew and so they're practicing that. And so it's been really cool to see um, how they have been, you know, utilizing this time that we have, we have an opportunity to slow down and really, you know, kind of get back to the roots of things that we may have neglected for quite a while. All right. Oh, yay. All right. Looks like Sonnet is, oh, yay. There you are. Beautiful. How are you? How are you How's doing? It going? It's going well. I'm good. Oh, so glad it worked. I was getting a little stressed. <laughs> so you have been doing getting... some research on your own and have found some very interesting things that you wanted to share. So I'm super excited to hear that. Yeah, so it's um uh I guess last week I discovered that. Um, for about three weeks, I wasn't attacking any of my projects. I had quit, um, doing much, um, sort of in my normal pattern. I wasn't, um, you know, cooking as much. I wasn't, um, I just didn't feel like myself. Um, gotcha. I, I wondered, you know, how I could get the motivation I needed back because, not knowing how long um, we will be in this situation. Um, uh, I guess I just um, was, you know, like for a while I sort of made a list of things like, here's all the summer camps I need to sign up for. Um, right. You know, the normal things that I'm planning, let's say one season ahead, I wasn't doing any of that. I would make the list and then put it aside. Um, and um, a couple things clicked for me in the last few days, and I wanted to share them because I was noticing that on Facebook and other social media that people were saying, you know, I go on Zoom calls with family, I'm, you know, <laughs> doing various things, but it's not helping. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to share that I think the most important thing that has helped me um, is that if you have a piece of exercise equipment in your home and you spend maybe 20 or 30 minutes working out on that piece of equipment, I happen to have the Peloton, um, and you just do that every day, I think that your mood will be enhanced and you may get your motivation back to tackle some of your projects or at least it will take your mind off of what's bothering you. So for, for me, um, I have a number of family members working in the hospital and um, that became very worrisome for me. Uh, so, you know, I, I know that that was depleting my magnesium, that it was taking away my drive um, for a number of weeks. So I just, I feel like all I had to do was do that 30 minutes on my, my bike and I was able to create motivation again. So I also do a few other things. Um, so I go outside for 30 to 90 minutes every day. 
Uh, so I get my sunshine okay. and vitamin B. And I also call okay. a family member, whether that's the one that I'm worried about or another family member every day. So up to an hour I spent on the phone talking to my family. Um, and okay. lastly, I keep an eye on my donations and ways that I can be helpful in this crisis. So I think it really starts with that 30 minutes of exercise and that propels everything else. Um, but I, I, it makes me sad to think that people are depressed. Um, yeah. And that's what I'm mostly concerned about because I think that even though many of us feel that we can't do anything right now because we're at home, we don't work in healthcare, there are ways to keep sane. <laughs> So absolutely, just, absolutely, you know, and so I just hope that, you know, giving these tips that some others will see this and recognize themselves and maybe they'll jump on that recumbent bike or they'll jump on their treadmill that they don't never use. And just this is right. The don't think like to it use does. It. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, that's great. Wow. Those are, those are very, very practical, practical, doable tips that really, well, you've, you've shown that it's made a huge difference in your, you know, your outlook and how you're feeling. And I love the, I love the, um, you know, getting on the phone with the persons that you are concerned about and really reaching out to them because something that tend not to do, right? We tend not to pick up the phone and call people anymore because we're so used to texting or messaging and we don't always, you know, have that voice on the other end. So I think that is huge. So thank you for reminding us that that is something that we can do. And it just really will brighten the day of the recipient, right? Because you know, imagine you haven't talked to a cousin in years and then you know, now you hear their voice and they hear your voice and it's just so uplifting, you know? So that's awesome. Donna, thank you so much for sharing those tips. Well, and so you found that it's um it's really helped you to do those things every day. Well, I mean, I, I cooked uh for several hours yesterday, which I was okay sort of quit doing. My husband cooks a lot, so I don't really have to, but when I get out and do it myself, I I really enjoy it. It's something fun for me. So I I felt like my motivation kept, you know, it, it came right back as soon as I incorporated that every day. It, I mean, if I did it every third day, it would fall off, but doing that, even to just that short, you know, anyone could fit 20 or 30 minutes into their day to, Absolutely. Uh, to, to do that. And, um, so I would suggest anyone who's feeling lack of motivation or, uh, depression or anxiety, um, to try that. Awesome. Awesome. And, you know, we have yet to actually ride together on a bike every time like, I'm getting on, you're like, <laughs> but yes, no, absolutely. You know, so if you like, like Sonic said, if you don't have a bike, you might have a treadmill or even if you don't have any of those, just some jumping jacks and something, you know, just get movement in for that 20, 20, 30 minutes makes all the difference. So no, that's awesome. And in the sunlight, you know, so getting outside and experiencing outdoors is helpful. It's kind of tricky here in Michigan, though, right? I mean, with us having the days when it's sunny and then the next day when it's snowing. <laughs> it's but true. still, still doable. Yeah. Still so, doable. Um, and also, another piece I didn't mention is make sure that you try to stick with your sleep schedule because uh, that will run you down very quickly as well. So um, getting to bed on time will give you that energy also. And I know a lot of people are staying up late now because maybe they're not going to work or, um, mm -hmm. you know, they're just off schedule. So even if you can't get your meals planned out or you can't um, get your homework in on time, you know, maybe just getting to bed will help fix some of that too. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, no, sleep is key. It's very much important. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all those tips. 
I am going to. Yes, no, I appreciate you um, coming on and sharing um, because these are these are valuable, you know. And we may always we may think of these things in isolation, but we may not think of them in combination. And just seeing that you know those things, the simple things that we can do that don't really take a whole lot of time, can really make a difference in how we're feeling and how we're dealing with all the things that are going on right now. So this is awesome. Awesome. All right. So I am going to jet because I have to go take a nap before going into work tonight. So I definitely appreciate you taking some moments to jump on and share that on it. Really, really do. And um, I hope that everybody has an amazing evening and um, we're going to take off now. So, oh, um, oh yeah. So um, yes, yes, that's a far. Um, I know that's not your real name, but yes, Dr. I'm going to say Dr. Fa. Yes, research does show that exercise is comparable to SSRI use. Absolutely. Yeah. So be strong, you guys. Be brave and unleash your greatness. Until next time, this is Dr. G and tonight's special guest, Sonnet. <laughs> Have a great one. Take, you too. Take care. Bye.